what's up guys so we have the 15x7 going on right now and harima is in the pool multiple people have been sending me pictures that they got harima and did i already pull for it or not and i have been like very 50 50 should i say my charge for 2x on the fusion events but i think i'm gonna lean on actually to try to pull for harima Harima would make so huge deal and I have talked about it so many times I'm not gonna go too deep into it but obviously I would say that right now many of the mythical and primal champions in the game are kind of undervaluing the old like the old affinity champions that are not mythical and none of them really are that top tier anymore I mean Rotos can still be situationally good, same with Duchess, but neither one of them is really meta at all. Neither one get any use in Classic Arena at all, like literally zero, not, not even like little bit. In Live Arena, you sometimes use both of them. Ankara still gets used a decent amount in both Classic Arena and Live Arena, because Narciss is so busted and meta-defining, and... Obviously getting multiple Angoras could be good, but really the best pool that you can get from normal shards, like Ancients and Sacreds at this point, is gonna be Harima. Harima is pretty game-breaking and meta-defining, and especially for somebody like me, who's always using Rotos and Wukong, and if the enemy team picks Harima, which, <laughs> spoiler alert, is like... 90% of time for me. I mean, I usually ban it or very often, but if we look at my battle logs, there's like Harima every... Okay, you can't really see it because I ban it often, but I think like literally, like was it first six battles in this live arena session, every time enemy team's first three picks were Armans, Sifi and Harima in like six battles in a row, it's the same picks every time and I always face Harima, I have massive trouble against it. I like half of these battles where they don't have Harima, I banned it just to be clear. But it's a big issue. I really want to get Harima. It's my most wanted champion. Obviously Krixia and Galater and so on are more better, but you know I'm gonna get more sacred shards than um <laughs> than I would get like Primas. And ob obviously I still want to get those too. But it's been, isn't it already like two years since Harima release? I don't want to get it wrong, it's one year or two years. I feel like it might even be two years. Maybe like, uh, no, it's like, uh, yeah, almost two years. I think it's almost two years since Harima was released. And yeah, I'm getting getting a little bit desperate at this point. I kind of hoped I would just naturally get it over time. And I said it before that I haven't bought any Prism shards so far. But next time we have Prism event with Harima, I'm gonna buy shards. <laughs> you can hate me all you want if you feel that way. I mean, I'm sure most people don't. So, but some people, you know, some people are gonna get mad that I, I break the, <laughs> I break the low spender code or whatever. I'm gonna do it. I really want to get Harima. So, we're also gonna put our money, money to like where we stand, and I'm just gonna pull all of my sacreds today and see what we get. Kind of... Let's just get to the pooling and then I'll talk about it afterwards, assuming that we get it, but... You know, all of the champions in this event are pretty good. If you get any of them, you will certainly use them in Live Arena. But obviously, out of these champions, the two main ones are Rotos and Harima. But, you know, Harima destroys Rotos, so... If you're gonna go for this event, just pull for... Pull for Harima, but okay, come on. Surely it's gonna be my lucky day and I'll finally get it. Now, even if I get Harima, I'm sure I'm gonna complain about the fact that I don't have Sifi and no other defense buff champion in the game is anywhere as good as Sifi. And that's an issue. I hope we get other good defense buff champions in the future, but I wish I would, I would get to complain about that. So let's get to the pulling. I want to say good luck to everybody that might pull on this event, but there's 24 minutes left and 
at this point, if you're gonna pull, you probably already did. So <laughs> let's see what we get. Come on. Let this be my... Oh, wait. Oh, okay. I thought that would already initiate the first pull. Okay, let this be my lucky day. Come on. By the way, if I get Harima, like, early on, I'm just gonna stop. I'm not even gonna go for all of the pulls, but with 17 sacreds, it's not even guaranteed that we're gonna get a single legendary. And even if we do, we need to pull, like, two... Or we, we need to pull three legendaries to get the full bonus out of this event. So, okay. Here we go. I literally don't care about anything else. Epics, Smepix, Meh, I don't care about that. I guess I, I could empower some irrelevant champions for... For, um... Oh, it's lagging a little bit. I think it's because I have... <laughs> Let me do this. I'm playing Cyberpunk at the same time. Let me, um... Let me save my Cyber... I mean, I have played Cyberpunk before. I'm just doing a re rerun for the funs. But let, let me close down the cyberpunks, I'm gonna lag a little bit less. Okay, let's see what we get. In case you were wondering why the, why the screen was uh, lagging like that. Oh, why is this... It's not really picking the green screen perfectly, usually it's... Perfect, but I can see a little bit background that it's not fully, fully realizing it. That's kind of weird. Anyway, you can barely notice it until the color changes. Like now, you can see it at the edges. Okay, are we gonna get a single legendary <laughs> in the 17 seconds? Come on. I'm already starting to regret this. <laughs> okay, okay. Who knew this was gonna happen? If we're not even gonna get a single single legendary with the 17 sacreds, I'm gonna feel a little bit sad about that. But you know, that's the that's the issue with 15 x 7 without 2 x. <laughs> that's why I'm not the biggest fan and I I, I don't normally pull this. I think I have pulled for Rotos 15 next, like, years ago, but I don't think... I don't know if I have done it more than once. Okay, finally... Wow. Yeah, finally a legendary. It's a Michinaki. I mean, it's actually a pretty good champion. I mean, I, I'll have to level this up for Hydra. It's literally one of the best Hydra champions, to be fair. So that's actually a good pull. I wish it was Harima, but, you know... I can't get too sad about it. It's kind of nice looking though. There's some kind of graphical, you know, graphical book. book. Like, you can see there's like, um, I don't know what you call this in English. It's like, you know, oh, it, it's like, it's blurring part of the fire. <laughs> but then we see like a, like giant line that here it's cropping it and here's not cropping it. And it looks kind of weird. Kind of, Plarium is usually, perfect with like graphics that's kind of a that's the one thing that they are really good at it might not be game balance or customer service but visuals is their one good thing but clearly they they screwed up here on Mishinaki I don't know if that's a new new thing or it's always been been in the place but I can see it now anyway it's a great pull it's kind of like when I got a crease here that I'm not happy with it but <laughs> I'll take it. I wish we would get at least one more, but I I think we just spent 17 secrets for a Michinaki. And probably half of the chat <laughs> would take that deal, so I'm 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 gonna be sad and other people are gonna <laughs> gonna think it's great pull. Okay. So yeah. 17 secrets. I don't can I buy one more with tag team tokens? I don't think I have enough to do it. I might be close. Okay, not not even close. Yeah, seventeen secrets for not getting Harima. That that was the most likely scenario, to be fair. And if we pull ancients now, it's we're not even gonna get the twenty x. So 
not gonna do it. I need to save some for the other mandatory fusion events and so on, but you know, you have to try for Harima. I have spoken about it before. <laughs> if you go on my Discord in useful information channel, there's like a calculator for like arena that can take into account everything. Masteries, passive, everything. And if you like you, you can literally like type down specific skills and use it there and so on. And you can see that Arima passive reduces the Rotos damage around like 80%. It's even more than you would think, even though it reduces the ignore defense effects by 50%, but that's much, it's even bigger than you think. I mean, it's not, it, it's a lot less big deal if it's against champions that have high multipliers and don't ignore defense on their skills naturally, but if it's something like Wukong or Rotos, who mostly rely on the ignore defense and their actual multiplier is not that high, it completely cuts their damage. I mean, it mitigates a lot of damage on everybody, but obviously something like Taras can still one-shot you through Harima passive, especially Harima herself, since, since she only has 17k base HP, though it affects the entire team, so the passive is super bonkers, but she completely makes my Wukong and <laughs> Rotos useless, and she has some nice assets too, but yeah, I wish I had her, I would use her, but I would also really want that my enemies can't use her. Anyway, I'm a little bit salty, I didn't get Harima, I hope you guys got her, she's super good, <laughs> make sure to use her, and every time I pick Rotos, make sure to pick UDK, our base Harima, and double lockout, and <laughs> then I can then I can close my computer. That's all I have to say for today and more, more videos about the clan war stuff later. Have a nice day and see ya.